freezing antifreeze? What? Oh yeah, there's a nice healthy chunk of antifreeze right there. What? No, it's not possible. So how does he freeze antifreeze? Antifreeze is the common name for ethylene glycol, which is used to stop car radiators freezing. This is because it's got an incredibly low freezing point of minus 36 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 37.7 degrees Celsius. This means that even though it's called antifreeze, you can still freeze it if you get it cold enough. To freeze the antifreeze, Grant uses liquid nitrogen. Now, nitrogen has a boiling point of minus 321 degrees Fahrenheit. That's minus 196 degrees Celsius. That makes it a lot, lot, lot colder than the freezing point of the antifreeze. The antifreeze and the nitrogen want to reach what's called thermal equilibrium. When he puts the relatively warmer room temperature antifreeze into the much colder liquid nitrogen, they both want to reach the same temperature. The liquid nitrogen will do this by heating up, which is why we see it boiling, while the antifreeze is going to lose some of that heat, and this is why it freezes. Because the liquid nitrogen is so cold, it takes virtually no time for the heat to leave the antifreeze, bringing it below its freezing temperature, turning it into a solid. Oh yeah, there's a nice healthy chunk of antifreeze right there. Antifreeze is incredibly poisonous, and liquid nitrogen is dangerously cold, so definitely do not try this at home. 